What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hike with Mike. I'm at Boyne Valley Provincial Park, starting with the Bruce Trail here on the south end. Let's get started. Ah, so peaceful, so peaceful. Oh, the sun is out, which is great. Judging by the clouds, I thought it was gonna rain today, which will make this hike a little bit more crappier, but glad the sun's out. And uh, yeah, let's keep on going. So I'm about a <clears throat> kilometer and a half into my hike right now. Um, so far, so good. Uh, not really busy right now, which is good. I, I like that, you know, and uh, where I'm heading to right now is the, there's another trail. It's part of the Bruce Trail, just right off the actual trail itself over here. Um, gonna go check it out. I did it in the winter time, so it was pretty hard, but I'm definitely gonna go back and take a look and see. But uh, aside from that, yeah, we're at Boyne Valley Provincial Park. Walking through a nice wooded area. So far, so good. Let's keep on going. So I just came out of that. Um, gonna continue with the trail here. As you can see, just paved roads. But if you go down this way here, you continue with the trail. So let's go. The map got me going on a road all the way to the trail in order to connect. So, oh boy. All right. I finally got off the road and made it back to the actual trail. Roos Trail here, Boy Valley Side Trail. So let's continue on our journey. Let's finish this up. It's pretty cool. I'm on a narrow trail. <sighs> Look at all this. Yep, let's head towards that. Bruce Trail, it's on the side, take a look. So in front of me here, this is the start of the uh, the Bruce side trail. It's about three kilometers extra. Um, should I do it? Ah, yeah, why not? I ain't no bitch, let's do this, let's do this. So I'm just walking up the side trail here, part of the Bruce Trail as well. Man, it's kicking my ass. Ooh, I take off my sweater because I'm sweating buckets right now, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty much uphill. Let's keep on going. So I made it to this point here. It's just an open field. Bruce Trail will probably, probably be on this point, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here. I might not go any further than this. Don't need to. Um, I'm gonna head back and get on the actual trail itself the main trail so yeah thought i might give myself a little a few more kilometers for a little bit of exercise but yeah let's head back so i just got down from that and now i'm going to follow the main trail and continue with boy valley provincial park let's go so continue on the main trail here boy valley a lot of it's just open space and a bunch of rocks Lots of it. So on my hike, I stumbled what looks like uh, maybe an old horse stable. There's naturally nothing inside of it. I just checked it out. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyways, let's continue with the trail. So I made it to a location called Murphy's Lookout. This wonderful viewpoint here, just beautiful. And it's starting to rain. All right, let's get going. So the more west you go on this trail here, you're gonna come across Primrose Loop. Another three more kilometers, do this loop, come back, and then I'll probably call it a day. It says trail closed, do not enter. Oh, too bad. Ah, no, 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 no. I respect the rules, yo, respect the rules. Continue. My goodness, yo. Reminds me of some kind of horror movie, yo. Shit. 
these trees. Yo. So I went more south of the park and I'm at the, uh, the Boyne Valley River. It's starting to rain a little bit more, so I gotta head back before it starts pouring. Oh boy. Well, it's kind of shitty. I can't cross because the water. Uh, I guess gonna have to go back. So I'm on my way back, just going south now towards my car. As you can see, this whole trail here is pretty, uh, pretty muddy because it rained today. So let's get going. So what's going on guys? So pretty much I'm at the end of my trip right now. Just behind me where that yellow with the uh, arrow there, that sign there, that way leads to my car. That's where I parked. Um, right now I'm just relaxing, taking it easy because I did find a bench right behind me here. So I'm going to sit down, relax a little bit because I'm tired, my body's sore, and I just got to chill out for a little bit. Uh, aside from that, this is Boyne Valley Provincial Park. Stay put for a verdict at the end. Uh, Till next time. So my verdict for Boyne Valley Provincial Park. First thing first, the park itself is not too far from Toronto. It's about an hour north of Toronto, which is pretty good. Uh, the park itself is nice. It has a lot of open fields, uh, wooded areas, swamps, and the terrain isn't too bad either. The trails itself is not easy, but it's not too hard, so it's in between. And there is some elevation at the park as well, so some uphill and downhill, so be prepared for that. The park is non-operative, so there are no parking lots where you can park your car. You're going to have to park on the side of the road, and there is no public washrooms as well for you to use. Uh, the best part about the park is the Murphy's Pinnacle Lookout. So when you get to the Murphy's Pinnacle Lookout, you'll get a spectacular view of the park itself and everything beyond and just simply beautiful. So you must check that out when you go. Um, aside from that, that's my verdict for Boyne Valley Provincial Park. I highly recommend going if you want to go because it's really nice. That is all for today's video. If you like what you see, feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well for more content. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.